what's up adventure fam today we are out in Vulcan Mountain and uh, we're taking the Five Oaks Trail on the way up and Vulcan Mountain Trail on the way down so we're making a loop out of it hitting two trails at once it's an absolutely beautiful day out here clear windy towards the top not so windy towards the bottom because you're protected by all the trees um, this is your first time coming on an adventure with me my name's Dan and I'll be holding the camera showing you some cool stuff uh, make sure to uh, like comment subscribe down below if you find this interesting um, you know it takes a lot of effort to make these videos and I love seeing the support coming back from the community so I'm gonna take you back down to the bottom of the trailhead and show you what this is all about let's go Right, overall that was 5.5 miles, about 1,270 feet of elevation gain. Took a little two, little over two and a half hours of moving time um, to get there and back. It was a lot longer because I found a couple cool chairs that I wanted to sit in and just enjoy the views, which is always awesome. Now that it's about 11 o'clock, the parking is filling up, but it's not impossible. People are leaving as people are coming, so it's uh, not too difficult, but it is definitely getting warm down here. Um, so it says, uh, the car says 48 because it hasn't warmed up yet, but it's definitely probably in the 60s, high 60s, um, coming from the cold temperature, definitely sweating and feeling that. Now that I've been up and back through uh, the Five Oaks Trail and Vulcan Mountain Trail, I would definitely recommend going up the Five Oaks Trail, um, and I would do it out and back on the Five Oaks Trail, taking that up uh, all the way to Vulcan Mountain. Uh, if you're on a pinch for time, uh, coming down Vulcan Mountain Trail was definitely a lot quicker, um, but there wasn't much of a view there and it was pretty steep. It just kind of was just a, an average hike on the way down. So yeah, once you make it to the top, the views are absolutely beautiful. Um, and if you can do Five Oak Trail both, both ways, I recommend it. All right, stay safe out on the trail. Remember to test your emergency uh, communication devices if you have them while you're hiking. Uh, you wanna make sure that they are working. Um, that way someday if you actually need it, um, you know it's gonna work out for you instead of uh, trying to guess and, and figure out how to even use it. Um, so you know when I'm on these hikes, even if I have cell phone reception, which it was about 50-50 here, I love to text my wife or, or a friend and just say, hey, what's up? And make sure they respond and, and that the, the communication is working uh, both ways and, and that's with my Garmin in reach and I absolutely love it. Um, I'll probably do a review on that later and kind of give you guys the details of how I use it as well. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day. See you on the trail. Peace. All right, just got here to Vulcan Mountain or Five Oaks Trail, whichever one you want to talk about. All right, so the parking here is actually quite easy. Um, there's a bunch of space on the side of the road see it here behind me and then you're gonna go just walk up this uh, road just a tad bit until you end up seeing the trail it's important to note I did not realize open 8 a.m. to sunset uh, had no idea that that was the case and luckily it's just about 8 a.m. all right adventure fam let's go Right after the main gate, looks like we got some porta potties here, which is nice. Didn't know those were there. We're gonna go ahead and continue our way up. Right, guys so we hit a split in the road here yes I film and I take pictures all at the same time um, so there's two ways up and uh, essentially you can go up Vulcan Mountain get the Vulcan Mountain or you can go up Five Oaks Trail to Vulcan Mountain and come back down Vulcan Mountain Trail so I'm actually gonna do the loop I'm gonna hit both of these trails at once so I'm gonna go to the right here I'm gonna take Five Oaks Trail it will end up meeting up uh, with Vulcan Trail here again, 
and then we'll take it all the way to the top and we'll come back down this way. So you've got two different ways. Both could be out and back or you can make a loop. I'm making the loop and I'll make sure to, uh, you know, post uh, a link to this map um, that I'm doing in my blog post, link in the description, because uh, this isn't on all trails. It should be pretty easy to navigate yourself, but nonetheless, uh, I, I made the map and so why not share it with you guys? All right, let's go. Look at this view. little bench to just sit out here and enjoy the views. Spectacular. You know, just about everywhere on this trail, this Five Oaks Trail going up, like one corner after another, one step after the next, it's just beautiful. Getting to these grassy fields, <laughs> it reminds me of uh, um, the Goofy movie. I don't know if you guys ever seen that, one of my favorites as a kid of all time. And you got like this nice dead grass, and there's a couple spots where it's got rocks and these dead trees, and it reminds me of the opening scene, the Goofy movie. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm sure it's not always like this and that's just me being a kid. So we're almost at the end of this trail and we're gonna go merge up with Vulcan Trail. So let's keep going. All right, so we just hit the crossroads here. You can see you came up on the summit sign. Uh, we're gonna go to the right. We're back on Vulcan Mountain Trail. That will take us to the top and then you can see uh over here that's where we just came from that was the five oaks trail um and then let's see here if we uh yeah on the way back down you'll be able to see that's the five oaks trail uh, going to the left or straight down to vulcan mountain let's keep going So this is the Vulcan Mountain Observatory Outpost. Um, it was on a short list of locations for um, the Hale Telescope. And then also, you know, 
this chimney pretty much is all that remains of the outpost. They're just asking everybody to, uh, you know, let it stay, let it be here. Um, the telescope was first used in 1948. Fun fact, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it's impressive. I always like seeing ruins and figuring out how they got here. Um, you know, they probably had enough uh, transportation to, to just be able to drive up here in the old days, but you know, you find some of these buildings that are ruined in the middle of nowhere, and you're like, well, <laughs> how do they get it up here? Because it was a it was a trek for me in my modern day day vehicle. So. Airwave uh, Beacon Tower. So that's what you're looking out for. There's a nice little picnic table right here, some viewpoints. Guys, check this out. There's a little side trail across from the Airwave Beacon. Look at this chair. How awesome is that? I hope one day I can get a chair dedicated to me with a viewpoint like this. What a beautiful, beautiful way to remember somebody. Let's come here, hang out. I think I'm gonna eat my snack here and then uh, we'll be on our way back down. See you in a bit. If you've been following along this far, we've already gotten to the top of Vulcan Mountain. We came our way back down. Now, if I were to go over this way here, it would be going back to the Five Oaks Trail. But instead, we're now going to check out Vulcan Trail. Wow, that was really close to my face. Hope we didn't look too bad. Now we're going to go down Vulcan Trail. So, let's see what that looks like. As you can see here, we just made it back to Five Oaks Trail. So we intersected there. Definitely re recommend going that way if you've got the time. Absolutely beautiful. This way is really just a fire road. That way has got the views and the mountain edge, um, which is awesome. So we're just gonna take this to the bottom. Mm -hmm. 